investment. It's vintage Mohamed Sanusi II, the Emir of Kanu, as he takes the center stage to deliver the keynote address at the second Kaduna Investment Summit. Let me, in any case, apologize in advance in case anyone is offended by what I have to say. Having prepared the minds of his listeners to what is coming, the monarch wastes no time in launching straight into what he considers the bane of development in Nigeria's northern region, particularly northwest and northeast. We are in denial. The northwest and the northeast, demographically, constitute the, the bulk of Nigeria's population. But look at human development indices. Look at the number of children out of school. Look at adult literacy. Look at maternal morbidity. Look at infant mortality. Look at girl child completion rates. Look at per capita income. The Northeast and the northwest of Nigeria are among the poorest parts of the world. All of that stems from challenges that leaders in the region appear to have taken for granted over time. According to the traditional ruler, the region is paying the price for that negligence today. What is our attitude towards educating our girls? What is our attitude towards child spacing so that we can financially maintain and educate and bring up children? What is the purpose of a large population that is not educated, that is jobless, that is unemployed? Of what benefit is it to the North to have three million children out of school roaming the streets begging? I can't think, I can't conceivably think of any benefit to us as human beings or as Nigerians or as Northerners or as Muslims of having this army of unemployed beggars. He is not one that merely cries wolf. The Emir of Kanu also appears to know how the North ended up in this logjam and the way out. For us to address social policy, we have to reclaim our religion. We have to look at what our religion actually says as opposed to what culture says. I'm sorry, but a current issue, if it is true, what I read, 200 people die of meningitis in a state. The governor was asked and he said, it is God's curse on us for the sins. For the sin of fornication, which apparently does not happen in America, which is why they don't have meningitis. That we have placed ourselves in this situation where simple things, it's a medical issue. You don't have vaccines, you don't have vaccines, go and find vaccines. Treat those who have caught it. Don't give these kinds of explanations. But this is the mindset. And I have a degree in Islamic law, and I can tell you that that is not an Islamically correct statement to make. For the Emir, the North may have found itself in a maze, but he believes that it's possible for the region to find its way out of it. But this must begin with leaders accepting responsibility for the situation and then finding ways to resolve the challenges.